MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. I've recently read with interest an article from ITC in the UK that these air turbine spindle can get up to 100,000 RPM. Can that be true? That is absolutely true, 120,000 to be exact, but we have three models to choose from to do that. Our base model is 50,000, our intermediate model is 80,000, and our newest one is 120,000 RPM using air as a driver. And can you talk me through the process, how that actually works? Well, the air comes into a turbine, which actually turns the spindle of the, of the tool itself. So the customer never turns the spindle on on his machine. He actually only uses it for the drives. The air turbine is actually driving the tool and making all the cutting. Okay, so if I wanted to buy a machine tool that does 100,000 RPM, there's not many to start with, and they're expensive if I want to buy one. But I guess I could put this on pretty much any machine tool. That's the beauty of the product, is if the customer has a need for high-speed cutting with micro tools and has equipment already, which aren't ready for that kind of process, he can take the existing equipment with an upgrade for our air turbine spindle and do this type of very specialized work on any type of equipment that they might have. The accuracy of the workpiece is dependent on the accuracy of the machine's drives and nothing more. Okay, and I know if I add loads of components to engrave, this would obviously be right up my street. Are there any other sectors we could use this in? It's a very common part for small molds and dyes. Also in medical, we see a lot of advantages to using this product where a lot of the molds that come off the medical need a lot of fine work with very, very small cutting tools like 0.5 millimeters, even 0.2 millimeters, which take a lot of process time. And can you calculate a saving? How, if, I, if I had a traditional machining methods and I was looking to do this mold, what would be a, a typical cycle time and what would be the cycle time of that part? The cycle time would probably be about one-tenth, but the beauty or the advantage really would be the amount of surface finish improvements that you get because low speed cutting does not generate nearly the, the quality of surface finish that high speed cutting can do. And I can see we've got a 30 taper, a 40 taper, and a HSK here. What other spindle noses are available? Virtually every spindle nose is available that you would require in any industry, but the 40 taper is by far the most common because that's the platform for most customers that need to get into high speed machining that don't offer high speed machining. And what makes this better than your competitors? I have to think that what's making ours better is that we make all the parts that go into it, including the turbine itself, but also the collets and the collet nose, which is very critical to absolute accuracy of the cutting edge. If we don't allow run out, the tool will work very well. So we control that with all the parts that we make at Big Kaiser. Other suppliers rely on sub suppliers to get their collets and other very important products to make the whole system work. Wow, that's very impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.